to live with death. Not commit suicide, I'm not talking about silly stuff. To live with death. Death means the end. You can't take your money with you. You can't take your family with you. You can't take all your wealth with you. Your house, your property, your knowledge. Death is coming and wipes away all that, because you are brave, because it has not enough oxygen, with us. So, is it possible, please listen to me, is it possible to live always ending? That is, you are attached. You are attached to your wife. You are attached to your money. You are attached to your ideas, conclusions, your ideals. You are terribly attached. And death comes along and says, Wipe out all that, my friend. You are dead. You have to wipe all that out, unless you believe in next life. If you believe actually in next life, you have to live correctly now. Right? Right, sir? Because you, you're going to pay for it next life if you don't do it properly now. But you don't believe in reincarnation, actually. Just a lovely conceptual idea. But if you really believe in it, you will be living a life of tremendous integrity. Saying exactly what you mean and doing exactly what you think. But you don't believe in reincarnation, just a theory, as so many theories you have. You might ask the speaker, do you believe in it? As you inevitably are going to ask. I have no belief. The speaker has no belief about anything. Where there is no fear, where there is no sorrow, there is something totally different. And that has no death. Compassion is not my compassion. Love is not my love. Love is love. Intelligence is not mine or yours, it is intelligence. So where there is the ending of all this, there is the other.